wanted to find out from the man who who is uh you know credited or who's tagged the the guy who whines when he sings and that's uh the Aha! godfather of oh i know who that R- is rmb mr mr keith sweat <laughs> keith whiny whiny sweat. <laughs> he's been around okay. since since you know he first came out in like 86 87 uh, 87 or so um with his um make it last forever album i would always Classic. say that's probably teddy Wright's best piece of work <laughs> probably mm-hmm. got paid the least amount of money both he and Keith Sweat don't own any of the publishing on that because even though they wrote, it's just the, um, you know, they, they, they were both new newbies to the industry and, and, and got swindled out of that. But he has stayed consistent and relevant to the point that mm-hmm. when there are R&B tours, 90s tours, Keith Sweat is the main guy, main headline act. He doesn't matter right. who else is on the tour. Key sweat is respected like that. That 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 the the promoters put right and center, and, and and you know it almost like he only work he, if unless he doesn't want to go on tour he's not on tour but he's the first name they always look for to to headline a show, and um, I just wanted to get your thoughts. You know we don't need to go into all the albums and stuff, but just your thoughts on mm. on on the music he's put out and his sort of place in R and B. Um, in r and um, You know, Keith Sweat's um, legacy is undeniable. Um, I mean, he, you know, when you think back to the 90s, he's second, you know, to only uh, the great uh, R. Kelly. Um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I had to say that. I mean, you know, I like Keith Sweat, but I'm not a big fan, I'll be honest. I'm not the person to ask okay. about Keith Sweat's legacy. But I know there are a lot of people that love love Keith Sweat and um and I respect his career I love I think that he's really consistent he's been very consistent yeah. very talented um as a songwriter and producer yeah, you know yeah. um he's he's given us groups like Silk and yeah. Cut Close and you know I mean so he's he definitely has an eye in old school he definitely has a um a, um eye for talent and an eye for making hits and um the make it last forever album is a classic i will yeah. i can't even deny that i mean yeah. hey teddy if if you can give me a classic album for 1500 <laughs> let me holler at you i gotta see if you still take that offer and be there but um no you know um and he followed it up with i'll give all my love to you which is another beautiful song that an album yeah. um but Thank i think like i said make it last last is definitely his opus and then uh, you know he had a big successful song with twisted that really took him to the crossover appeal and all of that so yeah yeah uh, I, you know the, those whiny vocals are working some people <laughs> love that whiny annoying begging guy <laughs> yeah. they love that but i'm i'm, I'm joking but, but I, you know, I really but, respect he the, but when, when you think about being distinctive because I'm, I'm i'm you know because you think about he had a distinctive style of singing and sort of a, a distinctive theme um and 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 he stuck with it and 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 I think that's the thing that I have to admire by artists who were like that you know you, you know because we knew that if we get a Keith Sweat song he'll sing love songs he was he was you know trying to uh-huh. you know talk just talk about oh, how you make me feel and stuff like that so you right. know what you're getting, and you're getting a consistency. He's a he's a good writer, um, and and a producer, um, right. and as I said, he had you know he had Kia label, he had a label with Electra, which allowed him to sign Silk and Cut Close, and um, so he's contributed quite 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 a lot. Um, I know his verses, but with Bobby, he probably we saw a different side of him, sort of the the the. Yeah. Old, uh, the I've always seen Keith Sweat as somebody who, perception-wise, isn't the the most um, a friendly kind of thing. Because I think <laughs> why uh, do you say that? <laughs> oh yeah, I think he he um, who was it? I th- I think it was Neo. So he was um, Keith Sweat was on the Breakfast Club, and I watched it, and they asked him about a comment that Neo said about oh Keith in a different generation, you know, you know, it's old school, you know, we're, we're the new school and Keith didn't find that funny. 
And in a way, right. Neil was saying, in his defense, was saying it out of respect, but he almost said, oh, you, you're past now. We're, we're here now. And, and Keith was right. really, really didn't find it funny and stuff. But, uh, you know, I don't know that that's, I feel like, you know, that when artists make that comment, it's so disrespectful. Even Lily talked about how she hates how some of the newer generation will kind of dismiss yeah. them as old school. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, even at my age, I'm, I can compete with anybody young. Like I, if anything, I, a lot of times I'll be outdoing the youngsters. So that's why I think that when you had it added, it's like more of a, a pride thing, he, you know, and, and an ego thing. It's like he, look at what uh, Keith Sweat has been able to do. I mean, he's made mm-hmm. hits out of nothing, you know? And the, the label Electra, Sylvia Rohn, she believes so much in this guy that he, she gave him a record label uh, Kia. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was, I mean, I could say it's unheard of, but for, you know, an artist like Keith, you know, it wasn't a lot of people having their own labels in the 90s. Yeah. Like, he yeah. had his own, and they trusted him. And he made a big, big monster hit with Silk, with um, Freak. Yeah. Uh, what was it, Freak, Freak You? or Yeah, Freak, Freak You. Happy Days. Yep, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy yeah, days. so it's like, what Keith has been able to do. I'm, like I said, I'm not a Keith <laughs> fan, but I can recognize yeah. talent and, and, and you know, what people connect to. It's something about his music that just sits in that soul for certain, pe- certain people. Mm. He speaks for the guys, to the women. You know, he's just a cool guy. Keith is, honestly, I mean, hey, I'm not a fan of Keith, but I wish I was Keith, to be honest. I, <laughs> I like his swag. Yeah. But um, yeah, he got a little ego. He's got a little, you know, got a little something to him. But I mean, I think anybody that Prince do too. I mean, a lot of people have like this attitude about them. Like, I know I'm bad. Who bring 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 on the competition? I know I'm bad. So, but yeah. I, you know, Keith. Um, I have a few favorites of Keith. I do like. Uh, I want her. That's my favorite. Yeah. I like <laughs> Twisted. I like Nobody. Um, I like Get Up on It. I like a lot of songs, but again, I'm not the biggest fan just because of his tone of voice. It's just it's something about it. It's like, ooh. I don't want to hear that <laughs> voice all the time. It's certain people, but it's like other people like Fantasia. I can't listen to a whole Fantasia album all the way through. You know, it's a certain voices that are just not for yeah. my ear. Yeah. You know, like Anthony Hamilton. I just can't listen to that all day long. <laughs> no, but, no. uh, <laughs> yeah, but as I said, know, we, we do have one. He's a great artist. I love, yeah. I love that everybody had, you know, I love what he's been able to do. I love when anybody can break through and find success at what they do and being their own unique self because. You know, on the surface, some people would be like, oh, he can't sing. Why? And, and he can sing. But some people might say, oh, he can't sing. How did he get a record deal? I mean, the man is talented. And somebody yeah. saw through him not sounding like Peebo Bryson or him not sounding like, you know, Luther or whoever else, Freddie Jackson that, that was out at the time. And they signed him because they've seen something in this guy. And it proved to be successful. And, you know, it, it goes to show you, you don't have to be like, you don't have to sing like Whitney Houston. You don't have to sing like Michael Jackson. You don't have to do that. You just and it didn't, and be yeah, your sp- authentic self. Yeah. And we spoke about I'll be sure uh, at a previous episode and about mm-hmm. he had the, 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 he was a pretty boy kind of stuff and had the hits. And then Keith was, you know, if you put them together, you know, then, mm-hmm. you know, he, you know, you know, to have a mustache back in the eighties to, to, you know, to sing, <laughs> you know, but you know, there weren't that many male artists who didn't sound like, um, who didn't have the looks, or you know, t- Tony Terry, or or Al Al, right. um, or or who had the vocals of a Luther or Peebo. You're, you're dancing around it. You're dancing around it, but there was a light skin <laughs> era. There was a light skin era, and <laughs> the Tony Terry, yeah. the, 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 the Albie Shores, the Christopher Williams. Yeah, but. but- he, he came have, through for the dark skin guys. Yeah, he came he had he had the song. He had the he had the the vocals and stuff. So he did. As I he said, just talented. guys, if there you know there, there are many good songs. I mean, I I would I would put the uh, Warner album. I'm sorry, Make It Last Forever album. Uh, as right. I said, my top three albums ever would be uh, Make It Last Forever, um, the Bobby album, and I believe I normally would go. For, I I always switch between. Um, the guy uh, and with Teddy albums, I'm talking about Teddy production albums. This mm, the okay. first Black Street album, just you know. But I, that that make that yeah. So, but any thoughts about Keith Sweat and your favorite track, favorite album, and and just your 
his consistency. And It'd be great. One last him. thing I want to say about Keep Two is there's nobody like him. I have, you know, how you had the R. Kelly people consider the R. Kelly clones like uh, Avon oh, and all uh, of that. Yeah. People that I have not come across anybody that's taken that style or that sound or tried to be like mm. Keep Sweat. He's his own thing. He's always been his own thing. He's always going to be his own thing. You're not emulating that. So yeah, 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 yeah. So what do you think, guys? Put your thoughts in the comment section. I can't wait to see what you have to say. Yeah. Thanks again for watching, guys. And before we go, don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Yeah, and also remember to turn on the notification so you can know when we have another show. But thanks again. That that too. <laughs> <laughs>